I like the olive oil so it tastes really good it already has a nice flavor to it and I'm just gonna add probably some ranch or something I might even do a little avocado I love avocado and salsa so I might do that even with tuna but I'll let you know now this is only 99 cents at our favorite 99 store so I decided to add a little salsa to it I changed up my salsa I like different ones and sometimes when I eat that picante sauce all the time I just have the urge to want to try a different brand and this brand is actually really good so we're gonna give this a try with the tuna this tuna guacamole now uh, the tuna and guacamole is a healthy a heart healthy low calorie high protein whip it up in a flash and enjoy it so that's what we're about to do and I put the tuna in this little container here and I have our delicious guacamole and you know you know I gotta add some salsa to it and I have a little favorite water there on the side let's just mix this all together I think I'm gonna start first with the guacamole and the tuna and then I'll put the uh, salsa like just sprinkle a little at a time I really like this texture of the tuna and the olive oil I think it's a very nice combination it works very well for me uh, it's very tasty it doesn't look the best but you know once you add a little sauce on it it looks delicious and it tastes just as great as it looks and there we have the guacamole with the tuna and the salsa now this recipe from avocados from Mexico this is awesome it's a tuna salad with guacamole the ingredients are two each avocados from Mexico three-fourth can of tuna in water I would do the olive oil it tastes better uh, you get the red onions diced celery diced pickles diced and the avocado oil let's see what else you add to it yeah this looks really tasty and it's low on calories And you got the pickled avocado oil, mayonnaise, lemon juice, garlic powder, and taste with salt and pepper. And we have all the ingredients. So maybe next time I'll make it with the red onions. I'm not sure if I want to do the celery and the pickles. I probably would do cucumbers. And since it's already in the avocado oil, I would not add any additional to it. And it has a lemon juice, garlic powder, definitely would do that, and pepper. I would not put salt in mine. This is a great recipe. And it tastes delicious. I love the way it tastes. And you can add it to bread if you like. Personally, I don't eat bread. Occasionally, if it's freshly baked or something, like homemade bread, I'll eat something like that. But just to go to the grocery store to buy regular bread, I usually don't buy regular type bread. Uh, I might do like a wheat or something, something like a garlic bread or something. But um, normally I'm just not buying loaves of bread. And I think that also helps with my weight loss. Now, in addition, sometimes I will get like um, those water type crackers. Those are really good to eat with the tuna. Or you can just eat it as is. You don't necessarily have to put it on anything else. Or you can put it on a salad, make a nice little salad with it. Uh, or eat it with crackers or like those spicy chips that I have I like spicy food so that works for me you have to figure out what it is that's going to work for you but it tastes delicious I love it and it's quick and easy and those little cans the can has a little pop top so you just pop it open real quick and with the guacamole it's just really easy to open up and get you a little spoon or something and put it all together and it worked for me and it didn't take but what less than uh, a minute to put together so it has here where you can also request the ingredients you can have them text it to you and it also gives you instructions on how to put it in a small bowl mash the avocados and stir in the lemon juice add tuna red onions celery pickle mayonnaise garlic powder guacamole mixture salt and pepper to taste did you know the avocado is a fruit not a vegetable learn more about the amazing avocado including its rich history culture impact and tasty ways to eat this delicious superfood 
in guacamole as well as other dishes nutritional facts so there you have it avocados mexico always good